Artists, it's Miss Lee again with another challenge for the week. I'm going to show you how to transfer an image. I made a video demonstrating this last year too, so you can go to my YouTube channel and find that one as well. I figured I'd make another video with whatever I can find at home. I found this old coloring sheet that my son never completed, and I'm going to make a copy of Yoshi by flipping it on the back and using a crayon to fill in the space. Now I'm going to take a blank sheet and put it underneath the original picture. Then I'm going to trace the original image. I started with a pencil, but my pencil is too sharp. It almost poked a hole through my original picture. So I found a ballpoint pen and that worked better. I got too curious, so I gently checked my transfer. It looks good. You have to be careful to not move the original that's on top too far. If you do, it won't match up with what you're tracing. Now for the big reveal. Remember I used a purple crayon because it was all I could find at the moment. But I can see the image clearly enough that if I wanted to, I could trace it with a marker, a pen, or go over it a second time with a pencil. The original picture had Yoshi eating popcorn at the movie theater, but for my picture, I'm going to make some changes. I think I'll make him just jumping in the air. Transferring an image is a really fun way of practicing your drawing skills, and the results are always successful. But what makes your artwork really interesting is how you add your own touch to it. How can you change the image that you transfer so that it's an original from yourself? This transferring method works on photographs, magazine clippings, you could even take your own drawings and make copies of them this way too. I don't want to leave my nice transfer drawing just an incomplete line drawing, and I happen to have some watercolors. So I'll complete this picture by painting it. I did make a couple of mistakes in my painting, but I didn't throw away or give up on my art. I tried to find solutions, and I'm actually really happy with my final result. Try transferring an image today and share it with me on Seesaw or Google Classroom. Until next time, bye!